falling to Good morning, it's convocation day. I just now realized I have the perfect spot to put my camera if I ever do like a little vlog. <laughs> Righty. Ooh, the lighting in here is actually really good right now. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, Claire and I are in the same real Kai group, which is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's convocation. It's like the casual day where they just kind of give us our t-shirts and stuff. And then later today is like open house. But in the past, they've done open houses like a dress and stuff. This is just like we're watching videos. I think they changed that after COVID. Uh, my Air Max is shorts are Lulu and I have a high rise. This top is from like something on Instagram called like Muse is Only Yoga. Um, necklace is Kendra Scott. I don't know where my earrings are from. Probably Target. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Look at us already. It's Claire's birthday. It is. Except for she's still a minor in Alabama. Which yeah. <laughs> okay, so first round of open house is done. It's like 3.30. Um, it was about to storm outside and we just saw like a huge strike of lightning. And we ended up not having afternoon tours, but we watched videos. I don't know why everyone on TikTok says to have like a big rush bag that like goes over your shoulder like this because let me just show you how red my shoulder is. It's so heavy, it hurts. Uh, I've never had insomnia cookies. Yeah, we took like a five hour nap. I'm gonna try gluten-free insomnia cookies. I've never had insomnia cookies. Not insomnia, I've had insomnia. <laughs> Holy I crap. love cookies. Wow. They don't have like the frosting. That's good. But Alrighty guys, I am back at the dorm. It is probably like, I want to say like 9.30, 9.15. Um, we got our schedules and I only have one house today at 3 p.m. I got dropped already by two ones that I really, really did like yesterday, which kind of was like, it felt really weird because for us, our open house round was like just a video. But at the same time, it's like, I know God's going to place me right where I'm meant to be. Um, I didn't really do a fit check. So I guess I might as well go ahead and do that because I was kind of in a rush this morning. I did get a lot of ones I did really like though back. I'm very, very grateful that I did get 12 houses back, which um, I've heard is like not very common to get 12 back. I think all five of my bottom choices did actually move up, which is kind of cool that they did all want me back. This sport is from South Boutique. These shoes are from Plato's Closet. These bracelets are from Amazon. Rings are from Target. Necklace is from Kendra Scott. And my earrings are from Plato's. And I did some like, bubble braids. Alrighty guys, so I'm talking a little bit quieter because uh, Kristen, one of my roommates, is asleep. I got done with my first and my only house of today. The fact that that was my first house, like I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Like what if that's, like that's gonna be really, really hard for me to decide if that's what every single house is like. We did have a rain delay. It started raining as soon as I walked into that house. So then whenever I came back, we all sat in the house for a little bit and then they postponed everything for 30 minutes but i have eight back-to-back -back houses tomorrow so i have a big day so i will probably end the vlog here and then see y'all in the morning i keep forgetting that this is like the easier bama rush and you hear like a lot of good and bad things about it um and after just that one video like i realized it's so like much deeper and it just felt really authentic it didn't feel fake it didn't feel forced and i remember like seeing the door songs for the first time when you're just lined up there you're like whoa and it's just a giant stupid smile swiped across my face like it was <laughs> so i'm vlogging again because right, i've been editing this is zoe hi guys um why does it look like i'm looking up do i need to i need to look yeah, at this <laughs> no i still look at myself um probably. yeah so today was philanthropy day one <laughs> yes i went to two houses today so tomorrow it, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, but like, it's gonna be a long day. Tomorrow. Roll tide. Roll tide. I know I keep ending the vlog, but look at the view out of our dorm. That's Jesus right there. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, that is Bryant Denny. Hi, my name is Mimi. I live on the other side. Yeah, we found her on <laughs> my door sign. <laughs> I found her from her door sign. Good morning, everyone. It is philanthropy day two. We just went down to the row and had a meeting at 7.45 a.m. with our Rokai. We didn't have to be completely ready if we didn't have the first or the second party. I luckily didn't have the first or second party this morning, but I have every other party that's today filled with houses, and then I have three more houses tomorrow. This shirt was the UA Panhellenic. We wore the pink one today. It's really cute. I think I'm going to roll up the sleeves, but I'll wait until I get to the houses. Shorts are from Play-Dohs, actually, and I don't know where they're actually from, but I did find them at Play-Dohs. Shoes of Play-Dohs. Uh, the necklace is Kendra Scott. Earrings are also Play-Dohs. And my bracelets are Amazon. 
um, and I just did a little alfalfa in my hair. I'm gonna like touch up my makeup a little bit because I really just kind of threw it on and then I'll probably just go from there. I need to clean up a little bit before I go back down. Fit check. This week is tiring. Like I can't believe it's nine whole days long, but it's been really, really fun. Hey guys, it's raining. I have a little less than an hour until my next four houses. I've already had my first four houses back to back. I was almost late to one, but it's been good. I actually really liked all the houses. Um, I went to go pick up a package with Claire from the student center. And my aunt delivered me gluten-free cupcakes. They're cute little mini ones, and I'm gonna try. Mm. Hi guys, it's finally the end of my eight houses. How are you feeling? <laughs> Tired. It's it's draining. It's very mentally like, draining. How is this only like a third? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but because I've had like eight houses and the maximum you can get back for the next round is seven, today was guaranteed to be my longest day. And I think today was the earliest start out of all of them. Yeah, I've actually vibed with girls from every single house and I've really liked it. So I'll see y'all tomorrow for my last day of philanthropy. Um and I've only got three houses tomorrow, so it'll be way more chill. It's the last day of philanthropy. I only have three houses, so I'm looking a little bit rough today, but um, I straightened my hair and put like a little ball from Shein. The shirt again, panel and I got the white one. Squirt. I've had from Alter State for a while, but I got on sale a while ago. And then I'm going to some shoes and I actually went for silver jewelry today. I think it's like literally all from Claire's. And then these bracelets are from Amazon. I had a little bit of a rough morning because I realized I had forgot my name tag when they gave the five minute warning at the front of the house when we were already lined up. Um, and so I sprinted to my Rokai tent and then I grabbed it and then I sprinted back and I made it like right during like the 10 second countdown But I did make it. I really love the house I actually had a really hard time ranking my bottom five and figuring out which ones I wanted to drop because I really did love all of them I have worn this like I literally wore this to my whoop I wore this to my senior commissioning at church and it's a romper And I've heard they tell you to stay away from rompers because they can typically be shorter but I really love it. So I think I'm going to text a picture of it to my Rokai and see what she thinks. I don't know, like I've heard if you feel confident in it, just go ahead and wear it. I have other stuff, like I love this dress, but I've also like every single boutique under the sun has it and I feel like a lot of girls gonna be wearing it. We don't get our schedules until we get to the row at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I might change depending on what my houses look like if I have houses tomorrow. I look absolutely busted right now and the AC is super loud, so ignore that. But I also just thought I would hop on here and say that it seems like Bama Rush Talk makes it out to be such a big thing on what you wear during the whole entire week. And let me just tell you, it is so loud in those rooms that the only way you can actually focus on your conversation is by looking at the girls genuinely in the eye. And so really what you wear doesn't matter that much. As long as you feel confident in it, you should go ahead and wear it. I really do love all of them. There definitely is one that I really, it really caught my eye. See y'all tomorrow for Sisterhood Day 1. I'm so excited for Sisterhood Round because I've heard it's just like where you really differentiate the girls. So, bye-bye. Alrighty, it's the first day of Sisterhood. But I love this romper. It's from Hip Chick Boutique. And then I've got the shoes from Altered State. Yeah. Almost all the same bracelets from Amazon that I've been wearing all week. The same rings from Target I've been wearing all week. I wore these earrings from Plato's to Philanthropy like two days ago. And they, yeah. Oh, and then Kendra Scott heart necklace. I'll let y'all know if I end up changing because I definitely want to wear this to my favorite house if I have them. So, y'all, I've actually had a really great day of sisterhood today. I was really nervous when the schedules came out and I actually did get my favorite philanthropy house back and I had it today. We had a bunch of rain delays today. It was really crazy. Like my last house was supposed to be at I think like 4:10 and it ended up being at almost 6 p.m. So, I'm really tired. <laughs> the last house which was the one I was looking at in philanthropy made me cry like a baby. I literally sobbed. But it was like in a good way. Like it felt very sentimental and I just it was the most relaxed I had felt the entire the entire week. I know they say to not marry a house, but I definitely think I might prep them. I was really, really lucky enough to get um, seven houses back today too, but I, I didn't get all of the ones that I wanted back. A couple of the ones that I ranked below moved up, but I'm very, very happy with the ones I did get back. Um, I did get dropped by one of my favorite ones, which is kind of sad, but I think in a way that was God telling me like, hey Morgan, there's this other one. I don't know. I think I might definitely prep them. I've been really bad about vlogging the past couple days. I've already started to untie my dress from Sisterhood, but this was the last day of Sisterhood. So yesterday I did get ready 
and I only had one house and then we had a giant weather delay because of a huge storm and my house got moved to this morning so I ended up not going out that's why I didn't vlog so I actually wear the stress at graduation it's from Lucy in the Sky and I'll actually show you like a real fit check for my phone because I already took on my earrings too I'm not wearing my actual shoes yet my first house is at 8 30 because it was written yesterday but these are my red shoes that tie very cute I wear the stress to graduation it's from Lucy in the Sky Earrings are from Shein, necklace is Play-Doh's, bracelet is Play-Doh's, and this bracelet's from Amazon. But I put in my two preferences. I really liked every single house. By far, my top choice blows every other one out of the water. But I'd be happy to get any of the other ones. I had a really hard time ranking my other ones because a lot of them I was like, they all seemed the same but not in like a bad way seemed the same it was in like a really great conversation type of way going in with the open mind has really helped me a lot like being in state you hear so many different things about so many of the different sororities and let me just tell you i understand that because it's recruitment everyone wants to be the best version of themselves however it's genuinely been the one place already that i've actually found like that type of community hi guys i just got done with pref it's been a long day because typically they want you to stay on the row the entire day on pref i got really lucky to have my top two choices back for me it was a very clear-cut decision on which one i really really wanted um and i it was really hard telling my other house like i love this house but i think my heart is somewhere else like it <laughs> it sounds really cringy but when you go through the actual process, it is kind of emotional. I'm not typically one to cry during those things. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do a fit check for the vlog, and I do it for all my TikToks. But, um, ignore the fact that I have my name tag. <laughs> but this dress I got from Thrive Boutique. Um, necklace is Kendra Scott. This bracelet I got from Maurice's for Freshman Homecoming. All of these little bangles that I've been wearing all week are from Amazon. These earrings right here from Plato's. These shoes I got from Plato's for $8. I actually had a really great experience with recruitment. I already voted. Right, tomorrow right there is gonna be where bid day is gonna be at 2 p.m. It is Sunday so I might go to church with one of my friends who's moving in. Kristen's back! How are you feeling? Hey, I'm happy with my decision. You're happy with your decision? This is Kristen's outfit. Very cute. I love that dress. Oh, thanks. Well, um, I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow for bid day. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Last two standing. My roommates are talking in the background. But yes, I did want to address the fact that I do know a lot of people that actually withdrew from recruitment. In fact, some of my roommates did. But it wasn't for bad reasons. You know, some people just, they want to vibe in other clubs. And sororities aren't for every single person. Um, I know I wanted to go through recruitment because I had to pay for a portion of it. But some people's parents, you know, wanted them to join a sorority for maybe the opportunity to make friendships. But you can make friendships through every other club. There's 600 plus organizations at the University of Alabama. Only like 30% of girls went through recruitment. So just want to let you know you don't have to go to a sorority in order to feel like you're going to need friends in a big school. Because of how big that school is, you're going to find your person. So just thought I would say that. Hey guys. It's bid day. It's literally bid day. Here's a little fit check. Um, I need this name tag to get into the city. Or right, my air, my Air Maxes, Lulu shorts. Um, this shirt looks like it's Lulu, but it's actually from Polara. I'm probably gonna not film on my camera. I'm gonna have my phone on me. So, yeah. Next time you'll probably be seeing me filing into Brian Denny and then me opening my bid. <laughs> been such a long day it's super late i ended up rushing pi-fi pi-fi literally stood out to me 
the second it was the first day of philanthropy round i don't know i'm just so happy i'm so grateful these are our little bid day bags um we have our little retreat tomorrow so i'm gonna be up early for that it's already really really late this whole entire rush week went by so fast like the first three philanthropy days felt like 17 days long like sisterhood just went like that and now like we already got our bids my little arrow in the background my little pie fi and a little pin and you know like i don't want you to think that you have to go into a sorority in order to find friends in college and you know greek life isn't for everyone i honestly didn't know if greek life would be for me and i still am going in with a brand new experience but i really hope that this is where god is calling me to be i think one of the reasons why i was so emotional during prep day for pi fi is because i was able to look around and i saw many girls and had lots of conversations with girls underneath that tent that I could see myself actually being friends with and talking to for the next four years. And I know that sounds really cliche, but it gave me a sense of comfort, especially because Alabama is such a big school. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching my rush vlog. I have no idea when this is gonna be posted. PPL, I guess. And subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be posting so much content within especially my freshman year and I'm really, really excited. And yeah, God bless you, bye-bye.